okay so welcome to another section and today we are solving a question on sets so let's quickly move on before we solve um, the question let's look at some few things about uh, we should take note about here so we are to take note take note of the following so the first one is the first one is um, we are to take note of um, a perfect square a perfect square now when we say a perfect square an example of a perfect square is the square root of 4 is just 2 the square root of 9 is just 3 the square root of 16 is 4 the square root of 25 is 5 so the square root of 36 is 6 and we can talk about 144 which is 12 uh, that of one is just one so this is an example of a perfect square so we take note of this and the second thing we have to take note of is the factors of a number so we take note of the factors of a number too so let's look at the first one the square root of 27 so let's look at um, i so i will look at the square root of 27 before we get it to square root of 27 let's um, get the factors of a number so with the factors of 27 so let's get the factors of 27 so factors of 27 we can have one year we can have three we can have nine we can have and 27 because one times 27 is 27 three times nine is 27 so these are the factors of 27 so if you look at this numbers here if, if i multiply one times 27 i'll still get a 27 if i multiply three times nine i'll still get 27 so if i look at three is three a perfect square no so i can take nine because the square root of nine is just three so i can take three and nine because three times nine is 27 so i have uh, square root of 27 be equal to the square root of nine times three and 9 times 3 is still 27 so I can have let's separate them 9 and yeah it's still the same the square root of 9 times the square root of 3 is just square root of 9 times 3 now the square root of 9 we know square root of 9 is 3 so we have 3 here multiplying that of the square root of 3 and we have a final answer to be the square root of 3 so basically the square root of 27 is just 3 root 3 okay let's look at the second part i i you know i i here is a square root of 32 so the square root of 32 square root of 32 first we have to find the factors of a number so the factors of 32 so look at the factors of 32 is one look at um we can have one we can have two we can have four we can have eight we can have 16 and 32 itself so 1 times 32 is just 32 2 times 16 is 32 and 4 times 8 is still 32 so looking at this i can take either 1 and 32 i can take 2 and 16 i can take 4 and 8 so with these three values here i can take 1 and 32 i can take 1 and 32 because 32 has no perfect square here 2 times 16 I can take 16 because the square root of 16 is 4 and I can also take 4 the square root of 2 4 is just 2 so I can either take this or that and it I'll still get the same answer so let's take one of them and then solve so the square root of 32 here we can have being equal to let's take here 2 and 16 so we have 16 times 2 here and we know we can have 16 times the square root of 2 and the square root of 16 is just 4 so we can have 4 times root 2 here and finally we can have our answer to be 4 root 2 as square root of 4 root 32 so we, the root of 32 is just 4 root 2 so very simple in that manner let's look at the third one we have um I, I i i i the square root of eight and um, we have to find the factors of eight so factors of eight we have one two 
4 and 8 itself. 1 times 8 is 8, 2 times 4 is 2, 8. So we have 1 and 8, we have 2 and 4. So I can either take the first one or the second one. So let's consider taking um, this 2 and 4. So we know we have 4 times 2 and we can have square root of 4 and the square root of 2. So we know the square root of 4 is just 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. Then times that of that, then we have 2 and root 2. So the square root of 8 is just 2 root 2. Let's look at IV. Now, IV is a square root of 500. And we have a square root of 500. Now, with big values, with large values like 500, 1000, and all that, you can, in a simple way, we look at, we can look at, um, we can look at it um, in different ways where we can look at, um, it this way we know um 100 the square root of 10 is the square root of 100 is 10 so we can have 100 times 5 so quickly we have 100 here times that of 5 and we have the square root of 100 here and the square root of 5 here and we can have square root of 100 here is just 10 then multiplies the root of 5 so we have 10 roots here as that and we can look at v you know the v part is the square root of 288 so the square root of 288 now with this we can um look at it this way let's look at it this way let's look at something over here now one times 288 is just 288 now, 2 goes into 288, 2 goes here, so we have 2 goes here, 4, 2 goes here, 4, and goes here, 1. So, we have 2 times 144, four. it has given us 288, and we can go on and go on. But if you look at 144, four, as we said from the beginning, the square root of 144 four is 12, so we can um, take 14, so we have the square root of 144 four being um, 12 so with this we can have 2 times 144 so we can have 144 times 2 being equal to the 144 times the root of 2 here and we can have um, 12 here times the root of 2 and finally we can have 12 root 2 being um, that of this so in another way to do it is just take one and multiply it times the number given you take two multi two goes into this number and you put it there so you look at um, the numbers which are perfect square in such a way that you put in them in the square root you can get you know um, a, a constant value so um, that's v let's look at um let's look at I V I. So look at V I. Now with V I we have the square root. We have square root of 128 minus square root of 50 plus 2 over 3 and 1 says 2. Now before before we proceed, let's look at some few things over here. So we have 1 to 8 and with 1 to 8, we can have 1 times 1 to 8. We did, well, yeah, 1 times 1 to 8 is just 1 to 8. 2 goes into 1 to 8, how many times? So we can have um, 2 goes into this. We have um, 6, 4. Yeah, I think 64. And we can have um, 1 to 8. 1 to 8. And we can have um, 3. So we have 64 here. So we can look at the square root of 64 is just um, 8. So yeah, so we can use this as that. So that's for 1 to 8. And let's look at 50. We have 1 times 50 is just 50. We have 2 goes into 50 25 times. So being equal to 50. So we have 25 here. And we can look at the square root of 25 being 5. Okay. 
and let's look at the last part which is 162 so we have 1 times 162 we get 162 2 goes into 162 um, 81 times and we can have 162 so with the 81 we can have um, the square root of 81 being 9 so quickly we can do that over here so with 128 with 128 here we can have 2 times 64 because the square root of 64 is 8 so we have 1 6 so we have 64 times 2 64 times 2 minus the, the that of 50 is just 25 times 2 so we have 25 times 2 and we have our 2 still 2 over 3 here and for 1 6 2 we have 1 6 2 as what 2 times 81 so we have 81 times 2 here as that you know we have um, 64 times that of 2 minus 25 multiply that of 2 plus 2 over 3 and we have 81 here times the square root of 2 so we know the square root of 64 here as 8 and we still have our root 2 minus square root of 25 here is 5 so we have 5 root 2 then plus our 2 over 3 then the square root of 81 we have to be 9 so we have um, times 9 here times the root of 2 so we have 8 root 2 minus 5 root 2 now with here 3 goes into 7 1 and goes here 3 times so we have 2 times 3 is just 6 then the root 2 so we have uh, 8 root 2 minus 5 root 2 plus 6 root 2 so we can see that they are like them because they have they have root 2 root 2 root 2 so we can group them in this way so we can multiply we can have 5 minus 5 plus 6 all with root 2 here as that then we have 8 minus 5 is just 3 and 3 plus 6 is 9 so 3 plus 6 is 9 and we have our 9 root 2 being our 9 root 2 being our final answer for this particular one so we have it in this way so in all in all when solving questions like said we take note of the perfect square we have to get a value in such a way that we can get it um, in this way so first you look we find the factors of an of that particular number if the number is too big then you take your time then multiply it one times the number two goes two times what gives you the number then if you can't get it around to you go to three three times what four times that gives you that then with that you, you can so the two condition is just to look for a perfect square and what this factors factor factors of a number and basically that's what that's what we have for today so thank you very much and i hope this session was very informative and enjoyable thank you very much if this is the first time please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that time we post a video you'll be notified thank you very much